They abandoned you as soon as you saw who they really were. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. This person knows that you're a starseed. In fact, they may have actually told you that. They may have actually alerted you to more of your spiritual gifts than you knew about. That's what scared them. Mm -hmm. You know, it just hit me. A lot of times people are put in our lives only for a short period of time. Even these people, these narcissists or whatever, they reflect things back to us. These contentious relationships. Oh, look, you are my angel. You are my angel. Seriously, that's how they feel about you now. But this was a very contentious relationship, like a lot of strife, a lot of stress, drama. This person was in your life for that reason. You saw through me, didn't I say that? You saw through them. You saw who they really are. Um fear held them back you saw right and oh my gosh you saw like to the center of who they are see this like brain here like it's like you saw their thoughts you felt their thoughts i will never admit how much you hurt me you said something that really hurt them and it, they didn't expect it it was really oh you triggered them you didn't even mean to it was not even intentional it was not it was not dramatic. That's the thing. Is you might think, well, it was something said during the heat of the moment. And there's so many times when maybe things were said that should have ended the relationship. But no. It was something that was said. It was said very peacefully. Okay, you know what I'm getting reminded of? That <laughs> there's, I didn't even watch all of Modern Family. I, I watched a few years of it. But there was this one episode where of Phil and Claire. Okay, like... Phil comes home. He's he he tells Claire this story about how he went to this restaurant and ordered a wedge salad. And he couldn't anyway. Suddenly, she, there's all this stuff in the story that he said. Okay, she goes nuts, like almost gets violent with him. If I remember correctly, like just starts screaming at him, and, and uh, he couldn't figure out why. And it, it's kind of a mystery the whole episode. Well, it turns out she's angry the whole time because of the wedge salad. <laughs> <laughs> he finally he was bragging because he's like have you ever had a wedge salad it was so good and he was bragging about this wedge salad and she got she went off because she was like do you know how many times i've told you to try the wedge salad <laughs> and some other guy that he went out to lunch with tells him to try it and he tries it and comes home talking to her about it oh have you ever been that person where you tell somebody something over and over and over again and they don't listen to you and then you hear they hear it from somebody else and suddenly oh you know it's the first time they ever heard it okay it's kind of like that but okay what i was getting to though was okay dead end obsessed oh gosh let me go back because this plays into a dead end they're obsessed now because there was a dead end because they left you saw through them it took them a while to to not be so angry about this but just let me tell you this about the modern family so the ironic thing the reason phil thought that she wasn't mad about the wedge salad was because it was so like not dramatic like there were other things in the story that should have made her angry or so he thought that's kind of what happened here whatever caused the distance it's you know there were so many times when it could have been it should have been, you know, oh, could have had a big fiery meltdown ending, but it didn't. But no, this was a period of calm, okay? You said something in a period of calm. You said, like, the wedge salad, and it set them off. And you know what? It could be a thing. I'm sorry to tell you this. It could be a thing where they, you know, it goes both ways. I think about it, because I, I feel like I'm that person on Claire's side where I'm like, Oh, I've told you this, I've told you this, but you didn't hear me at all, apparently. But somebody else says it, and oh, you know, it's a big deal. I wonder how many times I've been on that side of it, you know? Ugh. Oh, I'm not saying, I'm not taking up for them. I'm just saying, they were really mad about something you didn't notice. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Felt abandoned by you emotionally. They're real, okay okay it's that simple they were very upset about something you didn't notice you did not give them the level of attention they wanted you didn't notice something they kept trying to tell you and you know what i'm sorry to tell you this it was not like there was an attention getting ploy because when we talk about people getting attention it means they're doing something to manipulate instead of just saying what they want to say but you know i know sometimes even though you say it sometimes you gotta oh i, I get it because there are times i get it there are times when you tell somebody something several times and they don't get it until you scream at them 
Yes, just like Claire and Phil. Oh my gosh. There's so many things make sense now. Attracted to your sweet spirit. That's what they're seeing now. They're attracted to your sweet spirit. Um, but yeah, like they actually did speak up. Like this is someone who, you know, their action, they spoke up with words and actions. I, I don't know what happened. Okay, that I'm not being shown. I don't know that. Uh, that's for you. Sometimes I'm, I'm not being told things because, number one, it's a collective reading. So how would I know? How would I know? But, no, this is for you to decide. There's something happened here. Something uh, bizarre. Put it that way. You are a deep thinker. Live your life in truth. Your debt is forgiven. Okay. Basically, what I'm supposed to tell you is this. If you want this to resume, don't overthink it. Don't even go back to this. Because what it could have just been was some stupid negative spiritual attack. And I don't even want to... I hate saying that because I don't want to give credence to... Give credibility to, uh, you know such a thing as spiritual attacks but you know i'm just saying this is not worth analyzing that's the message here all is forgiven that's interesting okay all is forgiven and open your eyes came out with this your debt is forgiven which means everybody here like or at least them they want to just forgive because they see now that they were wrong but it's so complicated that they just decided let me let's wait it out they said okay look, i'm just gonna wait it give it give it some, give it some time maybe they maybe they've gotten over it because they really think it was ridiculous now and they feel stupid because they know it was kind of uh, probably what i'm really getting is like a bunch of things set in motion by one misunderstanding that's what i'm getting you attract healthy relationships you have positive thoughts and you achieve everything you want in life. I just want you to draw this energy in. Healthy relationships. Only attract this if you're healthy. We only speak that into your life. Have positive thoughts. Don't don't let your thoughts go to a negative place about this. You do achieve everything you want in life. You do. Anyway, I want you to I want you to just remember this and just claim it. You achieve everything you want in life. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen. <laughs>